Hey everyone, John from Old Riding Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's episode of Farmer John Fixes It, we're going to replace our broken mower belt. Let's get to work. The only tools you need to do this job are a socket wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 5 8 inch socket. All right, so this is our John Deere E120 lawn tractor. Uh, it's a little tiny little ride on lawn mower with a 42 inch deck and we got it two years ago it has about 40 hours on it and this was the original belt that came on it so i am not surprised that it has broken this happens from time to time and you know we mow a lot of different places with this thing on a lot of different terrain i don't know if you know anything about connecticut but there's a lot of rocks so this finally broke on us so i'm going to show you how to replace it and so while i'm going to show you how to do this for the john deere e120 the principles for most mower decks are going to be the same so you can apply this to other things as well all right so the mower works in a pretty easy to think about way so the engine's up here and that creates circular what's it called torque i don't know so anyway, there's a, a wheel down in between uh, the two front wheels right near the axle and it spins this way. And it spins that way so that this belt can run around a couple of rollers down here. And so this spinny thing pulls the belt which spins these two spinny things which in turn spins your blades. So it takes force from the engine and transfers it over to the mower deck. And so that's pretty much what you need to know. So. All you really need is a socket wrench set or some regular wrenches. What you want to do is you want to take off these uh, guides. And so this is going to be done with three uh, little hex bolts. And that is with your trusty 10 millimeter. Location of the second. So this is the second one, which is on the side near the belt tensioner. And where's the third one? Third one is over here. So the last one is a little tricky to get to. All right, and then once you get all three of those bolts out, here's your wheel. So now that we got that one off, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there's actually only one bolt on this side, which is on the back end over here. So there are actually two bolts on this. Turns out ours is just broken, but that way we should be able to just bend it back and get it in there. Okay, so this, this, this? This comes right from the engine, from right here. And so it spins this wheel around, which then pulls the belt and turns this. Uh, so this wheel that's under this cover and the other wheel that we took the cover off are the two wheels that control the blades. So if you have a bigger deck that has three blades, you'll have three of these wheels. Um, we just have two blades. Um, and then there's two other wheels right here that act as guides. Um, and also tensioners. And so you can see this is the wheel that tightens the belt and actually activates uh, the PTO. So our PTO switch is up here. When we engage the PTO, and again, it's very important to make sure everything is off, pull this up, and that's what turns our mower on. So now I'll show you from the bottom what happens when you do this. And so that tensions the belt and starts the mower. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these, the two guide wheels so that we can stick the belt on. We don't need to take them all the way off, just gonna loosen them a little bit. Also a quick note, you'll want to make sure your mower deck is set on its lowest level. That'll make it easier. Okay, so now that I've gotten these two loosened, we can put the belt on. Now with every belt that you buy, 
it should come with a little uh, box that will show you the belt diagram. And that'll show you how the belt should go around all of the little things. So I can tell you, I know that this one loops around here. It comes around this side of this uh, wheel. And then it goes around on this side, goes all around the back, loops around this wheel, then goes on the inside of this wheel and back to the main wheel. Uh, but just make sure for whichever belt you're getting or whichever mower you have, you just look at the belt diagram and it should make sense here. So the other thing you'll notice about your belt is that it's tapered. You have one flat end and then you have one skinnier end so that you can see Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to take the tapered end is going to fit right into the grooves of the wheel. So you want to make sure basically that the thinner end or the groove side, the thinner end or the groove side is going to be on the inside. So you're going to see this stuff and you'll see there's also always going to be like a little number tag. So the number tag goes on the outside. Yep, the number tag and the information goes on the outside. This stuff sits on the inside. It'll make sense when you look at the wheels because they're all grooved so that this fits right in there. So now that we're all ready, uh, we're going to go ahead and put our belt on. So I usually start by just wrapping it around the main belt. And so you can see there's these two hooks, one on either side. So you want that to go in there. And so what did and I say? So it goes, too? huh? And on that side too? Yeah, and so on this side, so you can see, I just kind of lift this up, and then I can fit that right in there. And then this loops around here, and goes around this wheel, and then it's going to go around to that side. But so while I have it here, I'm going to tighten this up. And then so same thing, so I'm just going to lift this up, just get that in there, move our plastic shield and just get it around the wheel. And so. so this is what I was talking about with the groove. So you can see it just fits nice and snug right in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna tighten this guy back down. How tight do you go? It'll, you tighten it all the way down. It'll, it'll get to a point where it stops and you can't tighten it anymore, right there. So, all right. So now that we got that all set, we are good to go. Now you'll see that this belt is actually pretty loose, but again, it's it, this this metal plate right here and this metal plate right here keep it from falling out. And to be completely honest, I think we may have been sold a used belt, but it does work. Where did we buy this? Home Depot. So can confirm, but it, it, it works fine and we should be all good. Do we have to put that cover back on? We sure do. All right, so now that we are all set, I'm gonna put our cover back on. How you guys doing? Hope you're enjoying this video. So I've done this several times, both on our old tractor, and this is the first time doing it on this tractor, but it's all pretty much the same. And it's going to look intimidating the first time you do it. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. And unless you have some kind of free maintenance with your mower dealer, it's one of those things that's it's really easy to do yourself. And I'm not a mechanic, and in general I have no idea what I'm doing. So feel free to let me know if I'm doing something wrong. 
So you'll when you look up your belt online, I know for John Deere mowers, they'll have a specific code. And so one of the numbers that's on the outside of this belt will correspond with the code that you need. So like for this one, I think it's 1321. So if you Google John Deere E120 mower belt, it'll the number for it, the SKU or whatever, will be 1321. Just so you know, I think. All right, so now that we have it all set, time to start her up and see if it works. The only tools you need to do... Ah, I am an old man now. The only tools you the tools. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Be sure to give this video a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what I did wrong or what I can do better. Uh, we put out new videos on Mondays and Fridays. We go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you stop by and say hello next time. Um, if you're interested in fixing things, I got a cool video about how I fixed my snowblower. You can check it out right here. Thanks for watching.